Hi everyone, Aldmar here, and welcome to this uh, Let's Play. So, as always, first of all, pick up a level. So, yeah, disable device. It's going to be a search, open lock, and spot. Okay, for our feet this time, we already have improved critical slashing, and I'm going to take range, so my range weapon will actually be also improved. Yep, more spells. Go quickly see what spells we got. Spells. Cleric. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay, spells. Level 4. Ooh, we get freedom of movement. It's the big one. Hmm, Panacea or Death Ward? I don't have a cleric. I don't have a hireling anymore, so. Death Ward it is. I get to move my uh, healing up. This is 12. I can still pay for this always. I don't need this one anymore. Let's move these down. Sorry, not here. This. And we can move these. Freedom of Movement and Death Ward to my list. Okay, got another level one. Level one. Just fill something up so it doesn't keep on uh, annoying me. Yeah, remove fear. There you go. Yeah, fine. Why not? Good to go. And yeah. So this time we're going to head out to Meridia. And we're going to do a... Let Sleeping Dust Lie. So... Meridia. Where's Meridia? Unsurprisingly, Meridia. I completely opened up the map over here. I don't know. I love doing uh, explorer zones, getting all the explorers, then having access to the full map. I find it very satisfying. Yeah, so you need to have like a ranged attack with improved precise shot, or you need to have a, a caster who's got a single target ability to make this, uh, <clears throat> well, to make this quest kind of uh, easy or manageable. If not, well, you're probably not going to have such a fun time, let's put it like that. I've done this many, many, many times as a two weapon. Uh, is a two-handed, uh, sorry, no, yeah, two-handed fighter, and I can tell you, it's it's not fun. Having to try to kill only the spiders and not the ogres, man, drives you crazy. Sorry, trying to kill only the ogres and the spiders. Okay. Now there is a way to like cheese this uh, quest, but you need to have uh, multiple long jumps. And I don't have that. Okay, for now though, we're gonna just clear out the way because as long as we don't read the first entry, we can kill as many spiders as we want. Ignorance is bliss. Just find out where the book is.
Yeah, we need the key for this. Book's not here. Let's move on. Yeah, this is one of those fail quests who I usually can't stand. But hopefully it should be okay now that I've got a ranged weapon. I've got the precise shot. Should allow me to uh, avoid having to deal with uh, trying to kill only the ogres. Okay, main room. go start here we go down each path till we find a book Also, you might have noticed that I got myself a gold footprint. So it's the only thing I really wanted from uh, from hardcore, and I primarily wanted it for videos. I thought it would help for the clarity of where I've been and where I haven't been. So, if you if you've detected any difference, please leave a comment. If not, that's okay too. These guys hit with electricity and coal that probably should use those two also. Okay. How much am I getting from these things anyways? Uh, electricity, got 12. Yeah, I'm getting 20 now, so pretty good. No book here. Okay. Next one. Basically a big central room with like six uh, paths coming off of it. One of them has like a tome. Once you find it, there'll be a boss. You kill him, get a key. Then you can start accessing the upper level. Again, you need to find a second tome. Once you find that, you can kill another boss, get another key, and then you can open up the central part, protect the queen, then you can go to the end fight. It is possible to get to the upper level um, without picking up the first tome. Uh, but you need to have a good jump and what's it called? A long jump ability. But I feel like I should be able to do this quest without too much trouble uh, just because I've got uh, whatever it is. Precise shot. Hopefully that'll be more than enough. Also, my luck isn't very good. Went down three paths already, and none of them have the... None of them have the Toma. Okay, whatever. One of my criticisms of this particular map is all the overlapping... Uh, what's it called? Overlapping paths on the map. 
it's impossible to see where you're supposed to be going. Also, I wouldn't be surprised at all if I only found the tome in the final passageway. Just make sure we do it in order. I want—I don't want to have to like backtrack and go through passageways again and again. No. Yep, here we go. Is it empty? Looks like it. buffing already. This character only uses its spell points, well, primarily uses its spell points for buffing. So, I get like two or three buffs in before I must rest. Still no tone. I think there's one guy here, yeah. Two guys. Okay. Head back out. If you're wondering, you need to stand on top of this this lamp over here. And then you jump to there, to this ledge over here, climb up over here, and then you can jump across to here. And that's it, get access to the top floor without actually having uh, completed the objective of finding the first tome and the key. And then you can just pick up the second tome, move on from there. And then once you finished the final boss of the quest, only then you come back and pick up the first tome and kill the boss and get his key. Because you have to complete all the objectives to finish the actual quest, but you just like break the order. And mind you, it's not very easy to do it, okay? So it's not like, ah, we just cheese the quest. It's, you're trading one skill for a different one. Because the, it's very tricky actually to do the jump, standing on top of the torch and jump to the top floor it's uh, not simple. Is there a second guy here? Yep, there he is. I don't like leaving these guys behind. You never know when they come and surprise you later. Yep, unsurprisingly, we're gonna go for all the six. Okay, better be here. If I have to start tra uh, backtracking, I'm going to be really annoyed. I mean, I hope I didn't miss it. 
I mean, I'm confident I didn't, but on the other hand, having this kind of bad luck kind of messes with my confidence about it. Here we go. Well, a journal found it. To an adventurer's pack catches your eye. Well, freshly written words inform you that the spiders are skull killed a moss. Their lives must be preserved. The ogres that control them must be slain. This passageway is confusing. The boss spawns in one of the passageways and slowly makes his way out. So he might spawn in the same passageway as you. He might not. Well, you just wait in the center and eventually he'll show up out of one of the passageways. Let's see. You have to actually walk down one of the passages to make him spawn? Hope not. Come on, where is he now? Pretty sure he makes his way to the center. Okay, here we go. Thanks for giving me time to rebuff. Okay, oh, now it was just for the key so we can get upstairs. Okay, now we start with the... Make sure you must kill only ogres phase of this quest.
You can tell if you killed everything by them becoming uh, non-hostile. How many more fights till the door? Okay, you don't want to have to fight this and all the spiders at the same time. We probably have another group or two of spiders and ogres before we get to the next door. I don't want to fight all that stuff together. Try that again. I'm gonna leave myself some uh, extra resistance, extra spell points, so I can uh, heal myself if I need. And we've made it to the top. Now we need to find where the book is. If I got lucky, I won't have to go looking around. Yes! Well, well, I'm glad I didn't have to do that. Go again. Because there's three different sets of passageways that loop together. And on the bridge between them, there'll be the book. So, I don't want to have to keep on going down passageways and clearing them out. Okay, let's rebuff. I'm waiting for the other boss to spawn in the center now. Let's hope that these uh, buffs last me till the end of the uh, whatever, till the end of the level. He should be arriving in the center someplace. This is a slight chance he spawns from this place also, yes. Could be they all spawn from here, I don't know. This guy's got fire, sh fire shield on him. Cool. Wow, I got him before he disappeared. Okay, now there's yet another place to fail this quest. If the Crimson Queen dies. Also, there's a shrine here, so just in case you haven't already, please do like and subscribe, thank you. Keep an eye out on the, the queen over here. I don't think I've ever had the queen fail and die during this quest, but it's always the first time and I'd rather avoid having a first time ever. I'm glad at least that my auto heal thing, what I'm doing to attack myself, the, the attack that heals that I've been using, if you, if you noticed. This, yeah, well, it looks like it heals her also, so. Should be good.
Yeah. Full health. Yeah, we should be fine. Got him. The only thing I'm really afraid of is if I get like a, uh, what's it called, a champion and they hit the, the spider with like a dot or something. Got to be really careful of that. And these things are super annoying. Fun fact, it is possible to get up there. You gotta gotta you gotta have a long jump. Let's clear up the last few over here. Okay, should be good. I think I'm good for the end fight. Yeah, so here, you can also jump on this, uh, whatever it is, brazier. And then you can use a long jump to jump from here up to the top over there. If you get to that top over here, there's just like a dead end. There's just like a staircase. that just ends with a wall. You're not meant to be up there, but you can. So if you're a pure melee and don't have any way to clear out those guys, then, well, now you know there's a way. Okay. Ah. Crap box should be someplace here. Yep. Does this thing open? I think there's like a lever someplace maybe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is a way back up if you if you really need to. I just wanted the collectible. Sneaky Rakshasa hiding in the corner. Again, I'm running out of uh, buffs. Where's the trap box listing?
Okay, we got ourselves a uh, named boss here. I think this guy's an optional. He doesn't always spawn. I don't remember him. Remember that if he always spawns, but pretty sure he doesn't. And the damage reduction on these guys is super annoying. He's a stone guard and he has re damage reduction to piercing. I guess he's not optional if he drops a key. Okay, blue H. Or blue, or one H. One dot equals H, whatever, blue H. RNGF or 3F. The blue H. RNGF. Another trap here. And red dots. Spots, dots, whatever. I really need to update my gear. Okay, here we go. Final room. Got him. Yeah, so there's got one, two, three, four spiders in here. It means if you're flawless up until here, if you kill none of the uh, spiders, when it comes to this end fight, you can just kill everything because worst comes to worst, you'll go four and then finish the quest and you won't fail it. So that's like a little small thing to keep in mind. If you were flawless up until this point, you get rewarded by having an easy end fight. Yeah, so red spots. Yep, there we go. Uh, orange. I think orange was F. I think the blue was H. Okay, here we go. Use them. You can see I'm using strategies meant for uh, for melees trying to avoid uh, being attacked by the spiders. But then if you're a melee, it's very hard to attack like this. It's more that once they get on top of the corner, then you jump down and attack. Come on, just die ready, please. Okay, fine. Here at the last bit of trash. So all you need to do is kill the boss and that's it. Really? Okay, fine. Locust Tusk. Shira Stone. 
where's the guy? Here he is. Okay. Stand here. Nope, sorry. A bit higher up. These two pseudo dragons are sometimes a bit of a pest when it comes to trying to take an end shot or whatever it is. Okay, should be a good uh, something in here. Fine, finish. 31. Double recall. I think he's, gonna, he's probably going to send me back to outside of this area. Yeah, he's going to send me back to here. It's probably faster to go into the ship. Definitely have to attack less enemies if you go this way. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Go back into the ship. Teleport again to Meridia. Where's Meridia? You got teleport. You can teleport to Meridia. Okay, and yes. We get our reward here. I don't need anything here. Yeah, it seems about right. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it over there. I think that's going to be it. Uh, I'll probably do one more for founding members. Maybe I'll do Let Sleeping Dust Lie. Uh, sorry, Let uh, Rainbow in the Dark. Anyways, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.